Shall we? Hey everybody, Dave Nasty over here at Next Level Guitar, and today we're taking a pretty fun approach to uh, this in the style of today. And one thing I get asked a lot about is how to make all the fun tremolo noises. So we're gonna try to cover as many as we possibly can. We're gonna get the classic dive bombs. We're gonna get some of the harmonic dive bombs. And, you know, maybe some fun animal noises all along the way at the same time. So let's check this out. The lemur? Le can we do a lemur? I don't know if I can do a lemur. No lemur? I can definitely approach with a sloth. I can figure out a way to pull a sea sloth. Sea otter? I know sloth. Oh, can you do a duck bill platypus? I can't. I can't do a duck bill platypus. Uh. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm gonna say it. I'm really excited to say it. Click on the link that you see below. If you click on that link, you're gonna get some good information. You're gonna get a coinciding ebook and a free lesson that is not available on YouTube. So let's say that. Click on that link, you're gonna get a lesson that is not available on YouTube, free, a coinciding ebook, free, full of great information, chord shapes, scale diagrams, all that kind of stuff. Click on that link. But there's a lot that we can do, and it'll all be great. So check this out. The first thing that we're gonna to try to accomplish is really it mimics like a horse. We know some people out there who've done this before. That was one of the, my most favorite things to do. It drove my neighbors crazy. My mom hated it. I loved every minute of it and it was classic rock guitar. So the way that we do this is we want to think how we grab the tremolo bar. That's the most important thing. When I go to grab this thing, I've got my third finger, my pinky, and uh, you know my middle grabbing it. So when I go up for the bend, this is what happens. With this left hand, I hit an artificial harmonic on the third fret, and I bend it up, and I grab the bar. So I go, that's the motion. Of course, it sounds a little cooler when you hit it. Now, that's how I'm going to dive. That's what you initially want to get used to. There's a good one. So, a pinch harmonic, you know, to achieve this, this is that whole tricky thing of using a little bit of the plastic of the pick and, and your skin of your finger there to get that kind of sound. I'm going to turn my body this way, and if I can point it out really clearly, it hits right about here on my pick is where I get that, uh, that pinch harmonic, just right there. And I don't have a lot of the pick exposed. That's a big part of it. And I kind of like to rake into my pinches. Now, the raking motion comes from a lot of the muting with my left hand now. So I'll kind of turn my body this way, just ever so slightly. So you can kind of see that I've got the muted, and it's muted with my thumb the way I'm grabbing the guitar, just this way. So I'm muting into that pinch harmonic, I establish the pinch, then I stretch the note, go for the tremolo. Now I recommend grabbing it this way just because you can have a little bit more control. You don't end up wrenching it too hard unless that's your desired effect. But you get this nice... And you usually need quite a bit of distortion or sustain on your tone to be able to get this going. Uh, the nice horse effect. Of course you can see that the motion of my hand is moving down like this. Just kind of pushing it up, letting the tension of the guitar guide me back up. I don't force it back up, that's a big thing. When I depress on the tremolo bar, I let it come back on its own. That's a big part of it. So you can achieve the horse effect by bending the note. You can do that anywhere. You don't have to just do it there. You can hit any note and really go for that kind of, you know, overall feel. Now, a lot of players will use this in the middle of a lick. You can go... And that's kind of a nice little tremolo trick. If you go... And you get like a nice little dip into the bend. And I'm going to pull off. You see that little effect there? I go down, pull, hammer, dip, pull. Classic kind of lick. And it's a good way to finish it, you know, and a lot of times if you're trying to recreate a solo that has it, it's kind of difficult to do it without the bar, but it's fun to try if you don't have one. Now you get different effects if you can tighten it a little bit here and if maybe we want to 
you flick it with your pinky, you get kind of a nice little trick. That's a really good, you know, kind of jittery effect. You get the same thing if you put it back here. And you can hear it gets a little bit noisy, right, off the strings, but what I'm doing is just kind of a little bit of a flicker with it. It's different preference going this way. You get kind of a neat sound, and you could do some cool dips with it like this. That one's always good to do. And sometimes if you use a uh, whammy pedal, you can really get that crazy high pitch. Now what this does, or how I do this rather, is I'm using my left hand to pluck off the third string to dive. On the way back up, didn't really happen because I let it go too long, but on the way back up, I hit a harmonic on any one of these desired locations. You're gonna get a better uh, effect off of 12, seven and five. Three's pretty sweet to do, but you get it on the way back up and then it continues to uh, take that pitch along with it. And if you have a recessed routed Floyd, that means it's dipped back here, you got a bit more room. So if you're like, hey man, I don't have a Floyd I can crank back up on, you can still do it. It's still totally there. And with a Floyd, you know, I can get, I can get down there. This thing's gonna be in tune when I come back. So if you've got a guitar that's a little tricky with the tremolo, take it in stride. You know, you don't wanna to get too crazy with it right away. And have it not be in tune, you know, when you get back, cause that kind of deters you sometimes from trying to get into it. Now, let's think of some other fun things that we could kind of do here that are always really, really good. If we wanna talk about animals, right? We're in, living in the animal kingdom. I'm gonna try my best to pull off this elephant and we will see what happens and see if we can actually make this happen. The way we do this is we're going to hit a harmonic on five and we're going to hit double harmonics. We're hitting five uh, on, uh, or the fifth fret rather, with the second and first string. Then we go to seven and then we go to 12. We're going to reach over and we're going to pull up with the bar or push up with the bar and use the volume with the right hand to uh, try to get that desired effect. I recommend being on a treble pickup when you try to do this and we'll see what we get. We'll see what happens. Hit or miss. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. We'll go, we'll see. Two out of three. Yeah, it's not too bad. So you get the overall effect, but it's fun to do. You know, I used to love these things. I had a neighbor, used to fracture a law or two. Used to do that and just drive him crazy all the time, right? You know, he never knew what was coming. Just fun, fun that we have when we have too much time on our hands. And that's what the guitar is for, right? To do all these things. Okay, Miles, we're gonna try this here, buddy. I'm sorry, but I gotta move you a little bit. Miles is sitting right here. And we're gonna see if we can wake Miles up with a little noise. Let's see if we can get the, Ooh, wait, hold on, Miles. Hold on. I'm trying to make little cat noises, but it's not disturbing the animal. He sleeps pretty hard. He sleeps pretty heavy. Yeah. But anyways, that's the effect I'm trying to go for. Miles is kind of on the wah-wah pedal, so it's a, little <laughs> it's a little hard to make it happen. But we're having fun over here. So to achieve this, even without a wah-wah pedal, what you can do is, of course, we're gonna turn down our volume just a little bit. We're gonna put our tremolo bar here, and we're gonna hammer and dip right at the same time. Can you hear that? Hope it's loud enough. A little louder. Everybody likes a little purry kitty cat. All right, everybody, I think we've had some fun with this lesson. We've gone through a few different things to do. Noises that we can make, things that remind everybody that you're learning how to play the guitar. And from your neighbor's point of view, hey, you know what, that's just not a bad thing. So go to the website, nextlevelguitar.com. Make some noise and some music, everything you need, all in one place.